you're playing JP. Um, hey guys, gals. Uh, real quickly, I, I, I want to I want to say, anybody from Texas here? Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Even gills me. Uh, well, I'm as well, and uh, just uh, I can't speak for the whole country or the whole world, but I can kind of speak a little bit. Uh, live in Texas with my, my favorite season, favorite episode. You know, I'll say this, man. Um, one of the most nerve-wracking episodes, it was probably the first episode ever that the producers called me and Jensen, because we were never producers on the show. We were never called producers. We we kind of, I, I'm quote Shakespeare, like a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. We acted like producers. We protected the show. There were no producers on set, really. Because uh, we were in Vancouver, they were in Los Angeles. But uh, French Mistake, where we played Jared Padalecki and Jensen Ackles. Because <laughs> there was a scene where I was Jared Padalecki playing Sam Winchester, playing Jared Padalecki playing Sam Winchester. And it was nerve wracking. And I don't think of myself as like a great comedic actor. So being forced to just get there and do it. We were shooting with uh, uh, Brian Doyle Murray and uh, Genevieve's grandparents were there and we're jumping through a window and there's fake glass and they're all freaking out so When somebody asked you Do you think it's really over? Do you say it is? You found someone new Performing without giving someone else my heart all I do I let myself feel things I know that you don't you're not mine anymore this has been the most knowledgeable on my catalog any of the audience has been so I appreciate y'all listening that's very cool <laughs> Now, I'm gonna tell you the story of the song because I think it's funny in a dark way. So I wrote this song like two, af two days after a girl I used to spend a lot of time with decided she didn't want to spend a lot of time with me anymore, which is my way of minimizing the end of a four-year relationship. Uh, it's okay, I'm fine. We've discussed this, I'm fine. <laughs> We've been over that. Um, so I went to a concert thinking like, this will be cathartic, I'll go to a concert, I'll like clear my mind, I'll like yell long, I'll cry, it'll be great. I didn't anticipate her also going to that concert. So we didn't speak or interact in any way. And then I was like, I can't do this, I'm leaving. So um, I left the concert, I got home, and uh, I, I wrote, well, I was scrolling through Instagram trying to numb my emotions, because that's what it's there for. Um, and then this, this, um, this TED talk popped up and I made the very inadvisable decision of watching it um, and then not finishing watching it because I wrote this song, it's called Same Room. Thanks for the request. I watched a TED talk on Heartbreak. He had a smart person accent. He said, don't look through the photos. And then I looked through our photos. You came to Portugal in 2014 just to spend a couple days with me. You flew halfway around the world for me. Now we can't even be in the same room. My friends are making sure I don't see you. I strategize a plan to the bathroom. I don't want this. Well, I'm gonna prepare yours first because you need a drink in like that one. Hold on, what are you gonna do? Hold on, there you go. The way you just like that. I'll, I'll look at the wall. You don't have to look at the wall. Oh my god, that's so good. That's good. You wanna taste it? What is it? Oh, do you want some? No, that's okay. Ah, that's okay.
can try it with some sauces, uh, with spicy sauce or salty sauce, or you can try it with lettuce. Uh, you So this is the overview of the hotel. Um, I'm not gonna say what hotel I'm at for privacy reasons, even though like by the time I post this, I'll be gone and it's whatever. This is what, let's see, the bathroom looks like. It's like nothing too fancy. Just a pretty uh, standing shower. That's pretty much it. That's what it looks like. It's decent just for me. I don't think I'm gonna be watching TV though cause I brought like my laptop. But I like the little workspace over here. I know it's been a hot minute since I've like sat down and actually like spoken to the camera but my life has been really hectic. I've just been really busy. I've been so, 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 so busy with working. I haven't had a lot of time like to myself. And this weekend, even though I'll still be around people, I'm gonna be uh, kind of by myself or just having more intentions on like doing things by myself. I do plan on actually making like a being black in Poland video. Maybe I'll do that this weekend since I do have time. Yeah, I'll be here for the weekend until Sunday. Today is Friday. It's gonna be April 1st tomorrow. And I'm really gonna try to edit. I've been filming and I've been getting a lot of like good videos and like montages and stuff I've been doing, but <laughs> The motivation to edit has not been there because we've been so busy. A lot of places I've been going to lately have just been a bunch of cafes, which I'm sure you guys have already like seen me post on my Instagram story a lot. I've been going to um, like Charlie Vegan Matcha Lattes everywhere I go, eating donuts, eating like all of the vegan mousse cake that I've tried has just been so good, so good. Like I've been treating myself. I've been in the gym a lot. Oh my God, yeah, I've been killing it in the gym. Um, and yeah, it's just, I don't know, sometimes it's just hard for me to like edit because like I like filming, but then when it when it's time for me to edit and I look at how much I have to go through, it's like, oh no, no. And after like not doing it for so long, I just, I lose motivation to do it. And it's gloomy today. It's so gloomy. The sun isn't out. The sun was out last weekend, but anyway, still grateful to see another day on this earth and yeah, just tag along with me while I go shopping yet again because every time I have my camera on, like, I'm just shopping. Not that I'm just, like, out here spending money just to be spending it, but it's also really cheap here to shop, and there's always something that I need. If not something that I need, it's something that I want, and since it's getting warmer, I need to take off, like, stop wearing so many, like, baggy clothing. The next time I see you, damn, not my baby hair is looking crusty. Hold on. Ignoring the mess in the background, I'm organizing and unpacking. I need to go to the mall to buy a like suitcase because I just have a uh, what's it called? What is that called? Just like an open, like reusable bag that I've been using to like shop around. But even though y'all don't care, I'm going out to dinner with people and then also for some drinks. But I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna wear makeup because I wore makeup yesterday. I look like a whole school teacher. I picked up some shirts. These are like yarn, yarn soft knit crop tops. I'm gonna try them on. Dress, I don't know how it's gonna look on me, but we're gonna try it on. And then I picked up these like joggers, like pins. I don't know what to call them. I like this top, it's so soft and the color is a gray mauve color. It matches my phone case just a little bit. And these pants, they're like pajama pants in a way. Okay, this is a large. I tried on the medium and I don't know, I just don't like the, I don't like the material of this. There's this little slit in the back. The straps are adjustable. so big though. What, a 10? An eight. You better wear a belt. I don't know, like, it's kind of like a linen material, but it would be a cute dress to wear to like a wedding. 
And I'm just not feeling it. Bro, this is my sports bra, by the way. I didn't feel like taking it all the way off. And I'm gonna get it in this color too. Come on, come on. I'm getting my video. This top is so cute. It's in a medium. This one is a large and I feel like if this already feels like pretty big, then I don't need a medium. And these are in a 08, which is, those are 10. I tried those on, those are way too big. It looks good. It looks good. Hit me with a ha ha, knew that it was over. I just spent two whole days not sober. And you just spent two whole nights bent over. Couldn't even give me just a little bit of closer. It's 23:31. I'm tired. We just got back from this Italian place. It was really nice. I had spaghetti and it was like a special kind of spaghetti with some bread. Like we all had bread and it was just really good. Dang, I look ashy and crusty. Sorry, I should be looking over here because this is where the camera is. I'm filming on my phone, by the way. But I just wanted to do like a quick little haul. I also need to put on some lotion because my skin is so dry. My skin is just so dry. I really do not like the water here at all. Like th the water here is, it has like minerals in it and it's not purified at all. And so it's just really bad for your skin. Rihanna has all of my money. Let me tell you why. Because I have the body butter, the whipped oil body cream. So good. I just picked up the Cookies and Cream Detox Face Mask, which usually I never really get detox face masks. But the only mask that I have here is my like AHA, BHA, the vampire looking mask from The Ordinary. That's the only exfoliant that I really have besides like my Polish Choice exfoliant toner that I use. So I just decided to pick up this mask because why not? I have a hotel for the weekend. Might as well use it. I don't think I'm going to put it on tonight though. So I bought this. I also bought a travel size You to the People, the green tea spinach vitamins cleanser. This is like my go-to. I also picked up a clean caffeine energy serum. Also by the You to the People, but I've never tried this one before. It's supposed to brighten, firm, and depuff. It's really good for hyperpigmentation, so that's why I picked this one up. But let me see what it looks like. It's a cute little bottle. Hmm. I also picked up a gouache. It sounds like it's broken. Why is it like? I picked up a gouache. I'm gonna open this because I hope it's not broken. It sounds like it's in pieces. <gasps> it is broken. I have to go back and get another one. I'm just going to throw this one in the trash. I picked up the Cherry Tree Conditioning Lip Oil. I smelled this and it smelled really good from Fenty Beauty or Fenty Skin. I got this as a gift. This is... I don't even know. I think it's a tester or, or a sample of something. I have no idea. A Bio Performance Advanced Super Revitalizing Cream by She Shado. I don't even use them, so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use this. But that's that. Oh, and then I also have a Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment from Dr. Jarts. I don't think they are vegan and cruelty free, so I'm probably not going to ever use this buff friday this is the body scrub and then and then i picked up her moisturizer the hydrovisor invisible moisturizer spf 30 and then i picked up this little hand sanitizer kit which i don't know if it's from a certain brand it just says mercy mercy handy the christmas market i don't know it's this right here I know this vlog is probably just like boring just because all I do is show y'all like when I'm shopping and eating pretty much. I've been very busy to not record every single thing and every single time while I'm out. But I am going to a museum tomorrow. I'm going to two museums. So I will try to film like, you know, while I'm there. I am literally so tired. 
tired. Well, not that tired. I'm about to go get a massage. I will probably just get like little clips of what I'm doing today, like here and there. Nothing too much. Cause it's a really chill day. What's it gonna be? Late nights at the lake, stars shining through the trees. Or driving home alone, tears running down your cheek. I don't wanna blame you, but this one ain't on me. What's it gonna be?